Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Oh, honey, I made it to the weekend. So today is Saturday. Hold on, let me fix y'all real fast. Today is Saturday, October 28th. And today is day 10 of my 60 day weight loss journey. We made it to day 10, y'all. We made it to day 10. And it was, it's been an interesting journey so far. Um, so I did kind of jot some things down that I wanted to um, talk about in this video. Because in this video, I want to talk about the fact that I am not really excited about the progress that I've made so far. So if you've watched my previous videos, um, for, especially for this week, you'll notice that I've been at jump bouncing between 157 and 158 all week. So that's not really any weight loss, right? That's not really any progress. Sorry guys, I'm having a hard time with this magnet. Okay. So I feel like I'm not really having any progress. So for reference, I'm 48 years old. I am 5'7 and my starting weight was 162 pounds. Um, yesterday's weight was 157.2 pounds and today's weight is 157.4 pounds. So I knew, I know, I told y'all at the beginning, like those first few pounds that like dropped off right away, that was strictly from like my DoorDash eating <laughs> that I have been doing. So I knew that, I knew it was going to get a little more difficult, um, so, so I think, so in 10 days, I've probably lost five pounds, which is not terrible, which is not terrible, but for me, that just shows me I need to be like a little more strict, like I just need to make some changes, right? So I wrote some things down just so that I can make sure I stay on task. So, so yeah, I don't know if I told you my ideal weight. My ideal weight for running is 140 pounds. So that's the goal. That's what I'm trying to get to. So I've been thinking about this all week. Like, what can I do differently? Um, over these next two weeks, I'm going to be super busy. I'm going to be going to work in the morning and then at rehearsals for uh, the musical in the evening. Um, so, so yeah, so... I am adding to my workout routine. So I was scrolling on Facebook um, today and I did not have a race on my radar to be getting ready for. And so I still don't have a race for 2023. But I was scrolling on Facebook and I saw that in 2024, May 11th, 2024, there's a race called, there's a race at Starved Rock in, in Illinois. Um, there's a place in Illinois called Starved Rock, and so it's called the Starved Rock uh, County or Country Marathon and Half Marathon. And I was like, oh, you know, because one of my goals for 2024 is to do some uh, half marathons and one marathon. And so I was like, oh, okay, so I have decided to um, do the half marathon at Starved Rock. And so that doesn't change my um, my weight loss goal because that is in May. I am not starting marathon training right now. I'm not starting half marathon training right now. But what I am doing is I'm going to add. So because of that, because I knew that I wanted to add on to my workout routine, so I didn't know if I was going to like do two a days or like how could I add and do more of a workout because uh, my workouts are 30 minutes so I was thinking about taking it up to an hour so maybe doing two programs a day like maybe one in the evening and one when I or one in the morning and then one in the evening when I come home but I had to think about like um, knowing for the next two weeks I'm going to be my evenings are going to be tied up and I know that I probably won't want to do it like at nine o'clock at night because the idea was that I would do a workout in the morning and then when I come home from work, do a workout right away before I eat dinner and then have dinner and then, you know, be done for the night or whatever. 
but I know like and so there's no like I'm not even gonna hold myself to thinking I'm gonna come home at 9 9 30 10 o'clock at night and do a workout right so because this race is now on my radar I was like oh maybe I can start implementing running now so of course you know I'm all about having a program all about having somebody else figure it out so that I just look at the schedule and see what to do next because that's how Beachbody works so I've decided to add um, base training to my uh, weight loss journey. And so base training is a, it's just a running program. It's the Hal Higdon Novice uh, Base Training and it's 12 weeks of a running plan. And so, and I remember um, saying before that when I'm training for a race, I am not dieting. So this base building is not training for a race. This is additional cardio, this is base building, which is just um, getting me running consistently, getting my legs back under me, just getting used to the rigor of running again, you know, because I haven't run for a few weeks. I haven't run since we stopped running on Wednesday night. So that's what I'm doing. And so it's, it's low mileage. And so what I'm going to do is get up in the morning and I'm going to do the run before I work out. So it's almost like serving as a warm up to the workout, do the workout get ready for work and go to work. And I know y'all are like, girl, you can't even get to work on time as it is. <laughs> and that is true. So I'm making some changes in my morning routine. So what I would normally do is, um, what I, I would normally do is I would get up and I would have my coffee while I do my devotional. And my devotional is, a, a, it's an audio devotional. It's an audio devotional. Um, and so, what I can do is I can get up, I can have my coffee, and then while I'm running, I can listen to my audio devotional. And y'all might be saying, Joy, where are you gonna do that? Where are you gonna do that? So I am gonna run outside in my neighborhood. Um, it is dark o'clock in the morning, yes. So I have my um, headlamp and everything. I have my headlamp. I'm ready for it. I've run in the mornings before. I'm good. So I'm going to run in the morning, um, run in the morning, come back, do my workout, and then get ready for work. And so I think I'll be okay. So if I switch my, if I switch my devotional to um, playing it on my phone while I'm running, then I'll still get back in time to be able to do my workout and everything like that. And so when I'm running, though, just for reference, I do not put headphones in, especially in the morning. I'm the only person out there. I just play it out loud. Every now and then there's people out there with their dogs, yes, that early in the morning. There's a couple other runners out there early in the morning. So um, that's going to start on Monday. And so just up first, Monday is a rest day. So I don't have to run on Monday. I do work out on Monday. So on the days that I don't have to go out and run, I can still just do my devotional in the house like I've been doing. On the days that I run but I don't work out because, you know, I have those two um, rest days after the five days. So on those days, again, I can just do my devotional in the house and then run. So the mileage is, is pretty low. I think the highest mileage that I um, run during the week is three miles. And then on the weekends, typically is when you get to the four and five miles. So in this base training for 12 weeks, the highest amount of miles I run, I think, are, are, is five and a half, I think. And so that'll take me into the new year, right? And then, oh my gosh, did y'all fall? Y'all do not know how to sit. Y'all don't know how to sit. <laughs> Y'all don't know how to sit. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Well, now y'all just got to wait till I find a parking spot. You just got to wait till I find a parking spot now. Here, let's go right here for now. Let me fix you guys. Hold on. Okay, y'all should be okay now. You should be. I don't know. We'll see. You guys, this um, this is a new holder for me, and it is um, 
the magnetic one so it just has this little square of magnetic strip on the back and I have to always find that square to make sure it stays right you know so that's why I'm always adjusting y'all and everything I don't know but anyway what I was saying is that um I don't know what I was saying but I am doing oh, I feel like this police is running around driving around looking for people whose tags are expired which mine are expired however I'm getting them on Monday so please don't let me get a ticket before Monday so anyhow um, I this base uh, building plan is not me race training it's not me training for a race so that's why I can still use it in my um, I can include it in my weight loss journey because I'm not training for a race base building is not me training for a race I don't start training for the half marathon until February 19th so February 19th then I start a 12 week I believe it's 12 weeks, a 12 week training program. And it, it'll be the Hal Higdon um, Half Marathon, I think Novice 2, Novice 2 plan. So it's a Novice 1, a Novice 2, an Intermediate, and an Advanced, so on and so forth. So that's where I am. And so, yes, yeah, so this week, um, I think I have one more workout. Let me see, when did I start? I don't know when I. One, two, three. Maybe I have two more works, workouts and then I have two off days of working out and I just have running. So, Joy, when are you going to take a rest day? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I have not yet figured out a rest day. Oh, probably because mm, I know on Saturdays it's just like a 30-minute walk. So, that's like resting kind of, right? Kind of. But, um... But yeah, so that's what I'm doing new. Um, let me see. So that's a change that I'm making. I'm adding the base training in. I'm burning a few more calories and getting my base building in um, because, like I said, my ideal running weight is 140. So my goal is to be 140 by December 17th and then just and be maintaining. Um, but February 19th, when I hit the ground running for marathon or half marathon training, that is going to be, you know, I'll be making some adjustments to my food, of course, because as I run um, those higher uh, mileage numbers, I'm going to need to make sure that I have enough carbs in my system to be able to keep up with the energy. And that's when I start working on pacing and running faster and different things like that and so for me I was happy to come across that race because a lot of times having a goal so like weight loss is a goal but for me having a performance goal is really helpful to me and like staying on plan and like making sure I like reach those milestones and things like that so I am happy to have a race on my radar and I am an introvert guys so I am such an introvert. I never have to leave the house. I never have to leave the house. I am so content staying in my house. I don't even want to talk to DoorDash. Just leave it on the porch. Like, I don't have to talk to nobody. But we are changing our life. So, and so this um, race that I'm doing, I'm going to, like, treat it like a destination race. And a desti destination race is usually somewhere... Um, outside of your state or outside of where you normally run. I think out in the running world, destination races are like in another country, like, you know, like in another country typically where they have like these vacation races and they go, maybe that's a vacation race. So a destination race is like something outside of your state. And so, but this race, this particular race at Starved Rock, it's in my state um it's in my state and it's only like an hour and a half away i've never been there but people like go there for camping and a lot of different things nature hiking all kinds of things it is a place for people to go like vacationing um and i've never been there but my plan is to go and stay for the weekend so um and 
and I thought originally that it was like in a, in like the mountains, like on a trail or something like that, but it's not. It's like in that neighborhood. It's like in that it'll start in the Starved Rock um, Park, but then you go out into the neighborhood and you run. So I looked at pictures from last time because I didn't want it to be a trail run per se, but it is like a road race. So that's nice. So I think that it'll be nice. Uh, packet pickup will be on that Friday. So I'll probably leave leave work that Friday drive out there since it's only an hour and a half and I, it's so funny because I drive an hour home so adding a half hour is not a big deal <laughs> so I'll drive out there after work pick up my packet check into my hotel run the next morning and call time for the bus that takes you to the race is at 5 30 a.m so I'm glad that I'm in the habit of getting up at four so I can just like continue that um and so, and then the race starts, the half marathon starts at 7.30. So we go out at 7.30. And so I plan to like hang out, like meet people, you know, just see what's going on. I am an introvert. So I know I'm like saying I'm going to meet people. I like the idea of meeting people, but it just depends on how I feel. Usually at a race, like I, I do hang out and I kind of like, you know, cheer in runners that are coming in after me or I will you know meet somebody we'll have you meet somebody that kind of has something to talk about you know it looked like they had like a little expo like like they had like tables where other vendors would like sell their things so there was like sweatshirts and different things like that so that'll be exciting to um see and then like they have after the race i guess there's this they have like a meeting place where the runners go um, to like hang out after the race and things like that and so then so I am planning to stay the rest of the day Saturday and then check out Sunday and come home on Sunday so I think that'll be fun for me to plan it save for it um, yeah because I think it'll be fun I'm gonna eat out I'm definitely gonna have a victory meal at the end just celebrating finishing a half marathon after not having done one for so long and the last time I did a half marathon it had to be like 2016 or something like that it was long ago and my time was two hours and 33 minutes and so because I haven't run a half marathon in years I'm just going to make that my goal again two hours and 33 minutes and during that half marathon my plan going in was to run um, to each water stop. So when I got to the water stop, I got my water and I walked while I drank my water through the cup and then kept going to the next water stop, drank my water while I walked. And so that worked for me. And so hopefully um, two hours and 33 minutes will be good for me. So that is my goal. That's something I'm working towards. So hopefully it helps me keep my eye on the prize. And then I do have a weight loss goal for the end. So for by next week, Friday. By next week, Friday. No, by next. Yeah, by next week, Friday morning. My goal is to be at 154. So what is that? Is that three pounds down? That's three pounds down. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be skipping meals or anything like that. I plan to increase my water. And last year, I loosely followed this um, plan by a woman who, um, she works with the Beachbody or Body organization. And she, I uh, forgot the name of her book. I'll try to find it. But I forgot the name of her book. But she um, has like this this plan of um, water first, veggies most. So that is like the crux, like the basic of her plan. I think there's four things, but the top is water first, veggies most, and then two other things. I don't remember the last two things, but the idea is to, as soon as you get up in the morning, um, drink two cups of water. And that's like equivalent to like a bottled water. So I need to buy some bottled waters just so I can but um, to buy a bottle of water and the idea, like the way it worked out for me is that I drink four of those a day. And it was to drink four of those a day. Um, so right in the morning when I wake up in the morning to have a bottle of water because the idea is that you're, you've been fasting 
all night while you're sleeping and um, it helps keep you hydrated and so I feel like I want to do that um, and make sure I get that much water in throughout the day and then um, and then veggies most means most of your meal is made up of veggies and for me that's easy to do when it's a salad but when I'm eating like for example if I have roast uh, maybe instead of like a veggie and a starch maybe I'll have two different veggies and it could be a um, sweet potato or something I'm not a fan of sweet potato per se so I don't know about that but I could do two different veggies and um, roast beef instead of um, instead of like a veggie and a starch or something like that so I am planning on making some changes um, just tweaking things not skipping meals because I love to eat I really do I enjoy eating so I'm never about um, I'm never about skipping meals and so yeah so I want to be down to 154 by next Friday and so yeah so I'm hoping to by adding this cardio this additional cardio by running and then adding more water to my day um, and I was listening to such a good podcast today on YouTube I'm going to post the um, link in my description because earlier I had been talking about like menopause and just like wanting to learn more about it before I hit that mark and this lady um, her name is Stacy she um, was being interviewed by her sister her sister is the and they're both in menopause right now and she was talking about menopause and perimenopause which happens before you actually go into menopause and like and she had some really good information now the information she was talking about um, is information for when you go into menopause um, because she was always athletic growing up she always worked out she was a personal trainer she you know she did like all the things that she was supposed to do but she said like, when she hit menopause she was like there was nothing she could do to like avoid the weight gain and she said she gained 40 pounds she said now she wasn't fat um, like she wasn't hundreds of pounds or anything like that but she was um, but she was 40 pounds heavier than she was used to being and she was like what is going on and there was nothing she could do so she just dove into research and things like that and she had a lot of good tips um, she has so many good tips for after menopause and so she, one one of the things she was saying was like stop doing so much cardio women because that doesn't work for you it does something to your cortisol levels and things like that so I know that I'm gonna have to find something to like um, to make adjustments to my cortisol levels because I am a runner because she was like stop running and but she was making it sound like people were doing it um, people were doing it like at this high intensity because they had to do it to lose weight and so I don't like I enjoy running that it's what I enjoy doing I enjoy running I enjoy going to races I enjoy doing those things and so I don't think I'm gonna chuck running um, so I have to do my own research because I know women who are in their 50s and 60s who are running who are not overweight so there has to be some other like mitigating factor or something like that but I am happy that I have started the process of learning more about menopause because I did not learn about it um, and then I'm gonna talk to my mom and my aunt to find out like what age were they when they went into menopause because I don't think we've ever talked about this so those are just some things that are on my radar things coming up and so that's all I wanted to talk about and check in with today so the reason why I just wanted to do one video is because um, is because I do have to prep for this musical so I'm gonna be probably doing that for a few hours today just running through the play running through the sign so I know what I'm gonna be signing get familiar with the story so I know what's coming up next being a good example for the students you know and so so yeah so I think that's all I wanted to um, come in and talk about today um, for lunch I'm gonna have oh for breakfast after I worked out today's workout was the hardest workout of this program I was like what is going on it was the hardest workout in this program and it was um, body it was like a body weight workout I was like so we didn't use no weights honey you just used your body weight I was like I was like oh okay 
it was the hardest workout in this program and I'm in week three this is week three day something I don't even know but I was like oh my gosh I, man, my legs were like shaking I was like okay so that's what I did this morning and I did have a shakeology this morning just because I like the fiber content and the shakeology um, I like that it keeps me regular and I'm starting to enjoy it a little more. It's um, The flavor is called Cafe Latte. So it's kind of like having a, an iced coffee, but without the caffeine. It doesn't, it just tastes like it's coffee flavor. I don't think there's any coffee in it. And then for lunch, I'm going to have my leftover um, chicken fried cauliflower rice. I'm going to have that. And then for dinner, I think I'm going to have, hmm. I don't even know that I thought about dinner. Yep, I don't know. Maybe a salad. Maybe a salad, because I have some chicken strips left over that I thought that I didn't um, use yesterday. So I'll do that. I'll do a, a chicken salad. That's what I'm going to do. Chicken salad. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Grilled chicken salad. So here we are. So that's all for today, guys. I will see you guys on Sunday morning as I'm on my way to church on time. On time. That means I need to leave my house at 9. Church starts at 10 a.m. My goal is to be pulling out of my parking spot at 9.15 a.m. Yep. That's the goal. Unless I have to work with the kids. I don't think I do, but I'm going to check on that. I might have to work with the kids in the morning. If I have to work with the kids in the morning, I have to be there at 9.15. So we'll check in tomorrow morning. If I'm wearing my orange shirt, that means I'm working with the kids. If I'm not, that means I'm just um, able to go in and be, sit in service. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.